comes down to uh, how consistent you can be in those little margins that you stay consistent with. Makes you the player who you are. So, so. Do you have any formal interviews with any team so far? Not yet. Uh, Thursday, I do. Do you have any Packers shown any interest at all? Excuse me? Have the Packers shown I had an informal meeting with the Packers yesterday. How about the formal coming up? Uh, not with the Packers. How about the Eagles? Uh, not with the Eagles. You hear? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know about that. Yeah, um, you know, looking back and uh, for what I, I can remember of the game right now, it's uh, you know that's it's pretty remarkable. And uh, you know, good for him. Yeah, he, could, he could do that, and I'm glad I could play against him. He's a good, he's a good, he's a good cat. He's a he's awesome to play against. To talk to him. Um, even throughout the game a little bit, he's, he's a great player, and um, uh, you know, I was, I was happy to compete against him. Just watch it, dude. Do you hear your hear defensive background from high school? How much has that benefited you making that adjustment to the offensive line, having kind of that perspective yeah. on the other side of the ball? Yeah, I think the perspective itself um, on the other side of the ball is one thing, but I think uh, my feet, you know, just from being a, a strong side defensive end, and that's kind of like my primary position, uh, when I specialized in high school with a little bit, uh, just having my feet. So, you know, I mean, pulling around like now um, and playing center, like I think, you know, that translates to, you know, if I'm running down a play across the whole field, you know, and, you know, in high school. But, um, but yeah, my feet and the as a defensive perspective and how to pick how to pick up tips. Like, what, what would I do like, if I was a D lineman too? Like, what would I do to hide if I was slanting across your face? Like, like what, you, what would I hide? You know, so you grew up in Amherst, right? I did. Is this kind of surreal for you to be here on the cusp of? Being drafted, you know, it, it is pretty sweet. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this is this is awesome. This is my dream, you know. Smiles been cool. Um, you know, I remember, you know, I think it was like seventh middle school, or and uh, one of my uh, guys asked, what, "What's your career choice?" And I was like, "I'm gonna be an NFL football player." I'm like, no, I want to pick another choice, you know. <laughs> they, you know, they always like, you know, what if it? I'm like, no, I'm like, uh, that's what I'm gonna go for, and that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, but. You know, it's, it's definitely uh, you know the, the work you put in, and um, you know just just what you go through year and year after year, and how much I put in, and um, yeah, it, it is surreal at times, but I think you know for what I've, I've gone through, and it's awesome. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to be here, and I'm more than grateful um, for the opportunity to be here too. And I can't compete in certain drills and everything, but you know, I'm competing with my knowledge perspective and how much I can do here. Your NFL GMs, head coaches. A lot of stress on position flexibility. How comfortable would you be to kind of move to one of the guard spots, and how much do you have to kind of prove to them that you can play at those spots? You know, I, I'm very comfortable playing both guard spots. Um, sort of prove to them. I mean, I've, like I said, like I have a great knowledge perspective. I know what what they do and like two point stance. I've done it before in practice and stuff like that. So proving them right now. I mean, I can't really do stuff convince right. them. Maybe. Right. Right. Sure. I mean. Like I said before, like I know, I know what they're doing in the backside of protection. I know, you know, if they if they're in, in, in two point, if they have a, or if they have a double team, like what, what's their what's their footwork like, and um, you know what what do what do they look for when they're pulling around in a power play? It's it's, it's inside out, you know. So um, I have a great knowledge perspective of being center. About I, I probably know a lot more guard than you know. <laughs> I've, I've played, you know, I've played center, but knowing, knowing it, it's a, it's a whole another ball game to know like how it's supposed to look, like how it's supposed to fit, and I, I do have a great perspective about it. I think I do a good job of convincing uh, I can play guard because I know I can, and one, I, I know guard. So, were you a Packer fan? I was growing up. Yeah. Do you have a favorite Packer at that time, or somebody? Um, growing up, I was a big Far fan. I mean, yeah, big Far fan. Um, but uh, once I got to college, I kind of like the fans more so stopped. I, I more so just watched the game, you know, as a perspective, as a perspective, you know, as a center. It's crazy how, how much you just you know watch center and just get to your guys. It's, it's sweet. What 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 tips to pick up here and there? What are they doing so that I could translate right now? So. Oh, it's awesome. It's one of the one of the best things, and like as an offensive line standpoint, it's. It's awesome, like pancaking guys. Um, it, 
it's one of those feelings that you gotta, you gotta do Actually, to, you know, for yourself. Funny but, story, I didn't you know, tell you about the league you like to, to watch do that and you didn't know that they do that more than others. In the in yeah, college or? NFL. Oh, okay. Um, Tra uh, Travis Frederick, um, I mentioned before. I, you know, I would love to mold my game like his. And, um, you know, he, like I, I said before, he plays the really great explosiveness and uh, great twitch. Um, he's very strong, anchor of that line, and um, you know, he's very consistent in his pass pro too. Um, you know, you, you never see him uh, you know, flinch under pressure or anything like that. So, great, great guy to go off. Tyler, were you making the protection calls on the line of scrimmage? Yes. Yes. How, how is, uh, you know, just, is that difficult for you? Is that something that come, came naturally to you? Would you, say? you know, I, I, you always have to work on things. I mean, you know, my first year coming in, uh, you know, Playing staff for the first time, I, yeah, I had to work on stuff. But at my redshirt freshman year to now, like they're all my calls, you know, and and I pride myself on it. You know, I I, I went through all the looks and preparing for it, and you know, it was a it was a big deal to me, and um, I took pride in it. So when you tell, it you guys came have, easy when you kind of wanted to take pride in that. You guys have uh, you guys run the ball a lot more than a lot of college teams. You look at your film; it's a lot of run. Do you consider that a strength, or do you consider that something you have to you have to kind of overcome? Can you ask a question again? You guys run the ball more than most college teams. So your film is going to be run heavy compared to a lot of guys. Do you consider that a strength or something that you kind of have to overlook? You know, I, I, th I think both. I mean, you know, yeah, I think I think we've passed, passed a little bit more, like, the last two years and, um, you know, maybe, like, recent years before that. But I, I think, you know, I, I have a kind of jack-of-all-trades. I mean, the, this year we put in a lot of, like, RPO stuff. So, you know, and we've been in a lot of two-minute situations and, um, you know, games where, you know, it was pass heavy, you know, because the run game wasn't working. So I, I think I have a, 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 a quite a bit of film of both, honestly. But, um, you know, I think run, run for one run game, speaking itself, I think it, it's a great film to look at. Um, you know, I, I like watching my, my what do you, stuff. What do you try to do to reload? Uh, 